Hey guys, this is Brooke, the Vintage Gardener, and today we're in my moon garden. I call it the moon garden because all of the plants in here are white, cream, or blush. And basically when the moon is out and the light's bouncing off the flowers, the white tends to reflect, so it kind of looks like the flowers are kind of glowing in the dark. So, my sister recently posted on Instagram that I was going to be doing some videos for apartment dwellers, and so I'm doing that because I don't want to make my sister a liar. So... As you know, my house is on the market, so I don't want to get into too big of garden projects because that usually involves me tearing up things. So I'm going to do some pots, which is something that if you live in an apartment, you can easily do. I'm using a pretty big pot, but obviously you can just scale this down. So I got this particular pot. Actually, I have another one too that's down a little bit further in the garden. But I got them both at Home Goods. They were $29.99. And it's like actually $30 cheaper than the rest of the pots in there. And I grabbed the only two they had. Uh, my coworker was not happy with me. So I already put irrigation tubing in it. What happens is I have Mr. Uh, Mr. Landscape uh, half inch tubing throughout the garden with micro sprayers on it. And I uh, connected quarter inch tubing to that in the back. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put some potting soil in. Now, I didn't use the high-quality stuff like miracle Grow. I went and got some bags from the Christmas tree shop. To me, the potting soil, for me, really doesn't matter too much because I'm going to add fertilizer and that sort of thing anyway. Uh, there's other amendments you can add to it. So I don't, I don't really stress too much about potting, the potting mix. In addition, this was a lot cheaper. Uh, I got this bag, which is, I think, 16 quarts for, uh, for $2.99. And I'm probably going to have to put two in here. You can get more expensive stuff. I do have some Earth Grow in the back of my car. Uh, the local hardware store had it on sale for $3.99. So I'm going to put this in here, and then I'm going to wet it down a little bit. And then we'll be ready to go. Okay guys, I'm back. I went to my car and I got more potting soil. I filled a little bit more. I didn't fill it quite up to the top because I do like to put some mulch on top just to keep the roots cool. And I did arrange my plants and I realized that's typical. I'm spatially challenged. Um, I originally was going to use smaller pots got these and I thought, oh I can fit like so much more in it, and I'm looking at it, and I put them on there, I'm like, yeah, I really can't. So what I'm putting in here, oh, the reason I couldn't do that is because I misread the labels in terms of the spacing height requirements, and I thought these plants were smaller than what they, what they actually are. Okay, so the first plant that I'm putting in here is a hybrid phlox. It's called 21st Century White, and it gets about... 14 inches high. So I'm going to put that towards the back. And then flanking it, I'm going to put what's called Opal Innocence. It's by Proven Winners. And this one is full sun, part sun. It gets between 12 to 16 inches high. So actually, maybe I should put that in the back. I think I should put that in the back. And I got two of those. So I'll put these babies in the back. And they're kind of small now, but they'll probably be get, they'll definitely get bigger. And then in front of the flocks, actually, you know, maybe I'll just put the flocks kind of to the side, like so. And then, oh, actually, you know what? I can't do that. I take that back. I need to put the flocks in the middle because I'm doing two geraniums. And these are called Tango White. Uh, I need to head these, actually. I'll put those like so. And then in the front, I'm doing a wave petunia. It's called Easy Wave Silver. And this is probably going to get, it's not that it gets high, it's just that it's going to kind of spill down, which I thought would look pretty dramatic. 
So now that I've got these kind of arranged, um, they're going to go. I'm just going to start planting them up right now. Hey guys, I'm back. So I'm glad I did that last segment off camera because I forgot to put a pressure regulator on pose. And when you have the drip line attached to micro sprayers, if you don't take it down to 25 pounds per square inch, the emitter blows off. And so I caught that because that would have been embarrassing. But I tested it and everything looks, works and looks good. So this is the pot. Um, this is everything that's in it. I know that right now it doesn't look very impressive and that's fine. Everything is still early in its early stages. Um, it probably looks a little bit wild and that's fine too because like I said I'm going for something that's more wildly spectacular. I'm not a real fan. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of something that's extraordinarily structured. I like the cottage look which is a little bit more informal and more um, messy for lack of a better word. So I think once the rest of the stuff gets big, I think it's just going to look, um, I think it's just going to be big and bushy and beautiful. I think the petunias are going to, I'm hoping they grow down to the point that they're at the ground level. And I think the light purple color is going to play well with everything else in here, which is uh, primarily white. Uh, the opal instance does have a little bit of purple to it. So that's it. So if you are watching this on YouTube and you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the videos that I'm posting. And just don't subscribe. Also, like, tell your friends. I started this whole series because, you know, a lot of people don't know how to garden. They don't know where to start. And that's the one thing I hear from a lot of people that I talk to. And here's a good starting place. Uh, if you're in an apartment, obviously you don't have ground this is perfect because you can get a kind of a mini garden going and it's less maintenance and even if you do have a yard and just not you know sure where to start a pot is a lot easier maintenance than trying to because you don't have to do the weeding and that sort of thing so that's it so thank you for watching vintage gardener and i will see you guys in the next video which we will be planting another one of these pots but the plants in it are going to be a little bit different uh, that one will have moonflower and I'm going to be putting a trellis or a obelisk in it. So I will see you guys later.